We're here today to talk about veins. If you remember from what we talked about in class and from the video that you should have just watched, veins carry blood back to the heart. And in this particular case, um, to make our discussion a lot easier, we're going to talk about um, a vein in the leg. Now, all the veins in your body work the same way as this, except for the superior vena cava. But we're going to focus on the leg because this just makes more sense in the grand scheme of things. Because if you're talking about the leg on a regular basis, the direction of blood flow in a vein in your leg carrying blood back to the heart is going to be up, which is fantastic. But as you saw in the video before, by the time blood gets to a vein, the pressure in the vein is very, very low, almost zero. So as blood is trying to go back to the heart through these veins, there's really no push from behind to help it travel through these veins. And not only that, you've got gravity working against it, pulling the blood back down. And in this particular case, gravity pulling the blood back down is a stronger force than what little pressure there is left in the veins um, trying to get the blood back to the heart. So the solution to this is valves. And that's what you can see these curved pieces right here. These are a valve and these are a valve. So let me show you how this works. In your legs, the major veins are always going to be buried in between muscles. And it's not just in your legs. All of your major veins are buried between muscles, or most of them. So when a muscle contracts, like let's say there's um, the posterior tibial vein that's in between both of your gastrocnemius muscles, the, the calf muscles. So when you squeeze your calf muscles, that muscle contraction forces blood up towards the heart and past this vein. Okay, well that's fantastic. But as blood goes up past this valve, that means that gravity is going to start trying to pull it back down again. Here's where the valves come in. Way back at the beginning of our unit on cardiovascular system, we talked about valves and how about they about how they prevent blood from flowing backwards. As gravity pulls the blood back down, the blood that's already in this section of the vein, the blood is pulled down and gets behind these two flaps of the valve. And what that does is it causes the flaps of the valve to close. So they will push together like this and you know, my drawing is not perfect, but you can see the, the tips of the valve flaps are pushing together, and so that prevents the flow of blood back down through the valve and, and going against where you need it to go, which is um, through the um, veins up to the heart. Well then, there is another muscle contraction that pushes the blood from this section of the valve. Oops, pushing the wrong button. Up past the next set of valves. All right, well that's fantastic. So now the blood is in this section of the valve. And that's great until Gravity, once again, starts pushing the blood back down towards the ground, and the blood collects in between those two, or behind those two valve flaps, and now all of a sudden these valve flaps are pushed together again, and that prevents blood from going back down with the pull of gravity. So little by little, what ends up happening is blood from here gets pushed up into this section. The valves close as blood pushes the valve flaps together, so now the blood is here. Muscle contracts again, and so now the blood is in this section of the valve. The valves collapse 
and close off again, and then the next muscle contraction will send the blood even higher past the next valve. You have valves um, in your legs. They're about every two inches apart. In your arms, they're closer together. And if we were in class right now, I could show you how to find your valves and your veins in your arms. But this is how blood gets back to the heart through valves or through veins. It travels two inches at a time as muscles contract and push the blood up past the next set of valves. I'm going to have another video or possibly two for you to watch that has a better animation than this, but they don't explain what's happening really well, but they show it really well. So um, stay tuned, and that is your next thing that you need to do.